Now, a new book tells the story of an old industry in the Bluegrass State. Kentucky Moonshine shines a light on the illicit side of the distilling industry, from the history of moonshining to the production. University Press of Kentucky has updated the book with help from Wes Berry, who writes the foreword. You know, there, I have on my bookshelf quite a few books about distilling, uh, beer making, and moonshine history. And a lot of them focus on the Southeast where moonshining has been a big deal for the last, what, 400, 500 years, I guess. And uh, this book focuses specifically on Kentucky moonshine and how it brushes up against our big legal distilling business in this state. What is the history behind moonshine and how it was able to, you know, really catch hold here in Kentucky? The book digs into this a little bit. So the book was uh, published in 1974 and the author was a linguistics professor with an interest in the subject. Uh, he, he goes into, so the book covers Kentucky geography, economics, history, and as part of that history, he talks about the Scots-Irish moving over and of course settling in Pennsylvania. And then because of the Whiskey Rebellion, they have, they left Pennsylvania, came down to Kentucky, brought their stills with them and set up shop. And I guess Kentucky provided a lot of good water for the process, that good limestone water that's so effective in the bourbon making industry. And uh, anyway, that's, that's why they're here. How did you get involved with this project? I wrote a book about Kentucky barbecue and I traveled all over the state sampling you know, 200, over 200 barbecue places in the state. And the people at the press thought that I would be a good person to write an introduction for the book. A lot of it I do like, and so I guess I'm a good person to focus on this book of Kentucky. It's a kind of inter interdisciplinary study in moonshining that focuses on many other elements of the state. What do you think people will learn from this book? What might surprise people that they didn't know before in w reading Kentucky Moonshine? I grew up in South Central Kentucky and I had a sense that moonshining was around me. And even when I was a kid, my parents were Baptist and uh, spirits of any kind were illicit, right, prohibited. And I know that Kentucky is interesting for me because it's a heavily religious state. As you know, if you drive around, you see churches all over the place and a lot of them were Protestant. So there's this prohibition on alcohol for drink and yet it's also home to the largest bourbon producer in the world and and then moonshine so uh that, that I'm, i don't know if i am answering your original question but i, I find that all very fascinating and, and if you know anything about the pockets of wet and dry counties in the state that too is fascinating when i was doing my barbecue research i would go to owensboro and the catholics were having barbecues on their church grounds and drinking you know miller light and I thought, well, that wouldn't happen in the Baptist church I grew up in. What is the state of Kentucky moonshine right now? Uh, <laughs> you're very good at what you do. You're so vivacious. Uh, I assume that the, the state of Kentucky moonshine right now is the same as it's always been, which is there are some people doing it, you know, and, and, and getting away with it. And I, I know some of them. But uh, I want to mention one case, and I, I write about this guy in the introduction. A few years ago, I met a guy named Arno Hatcher living in North Tennessee, just south of the Kentucky border. And Ar Arno gave me his handwritten moonshine biography, which is less than 10 pages. And he said 10 years ago, he said, I've been doing this for 30 years, and I love it. Once you start doing it, you can't stop doing it. It's, it's addictive. Arno's gone legal now. He started a, his own little... He went through all the process because, you know, basically moonshine is just spirits that haven't been taxed. Mm -hmm. And so he's using the same processes he, he used up in the holler uh, when he was doing it illegally. And now he has a little legal moonshine business right down across the Kentucky border. Where can people find Kentucky Moonshine? The book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So the, the book will be available, uh, of course, on online sources like the Amazon. Everybody needs to give Jeff Bezos a little bit more of their money. And uh, you can order it from the University of Kentucky Press, who are, they're publishing it. And I expect it will be available at all the big bookstores in Lexington and 
Louisville and, and thereabouts, wherever, wherever their little local bookstores. Kentucky Moonshine will be released on October the 12th, and you can pre-order it at KentuckyPress.com.